this is Helen. Today I'm here back with another video talking to you about Hobonichi weeks. So I have three Hobonichi weeks here in front of me and I am going to go over each of the pros and cons of it. Okay, so it's fair to say that I absolutely love Hobonichi weeks. Um, I since I discovered it, I think in 2021, I am just in love with it still. I have never gone away from it. One thing I will say from my kind of journey with the Hobonichi Weeks here is that I started out with just a normal standard Hobonichi Weeks, which just means that you have less pages, free pages of these gridded pages on the back. Whereas the other one, the Weeks Mega, obviously is thicker, as you can see in comparison, they're much different, even though I chunked it up just a tad bit with the first quarter of this year. There's that difference. So the first thing that I purchased back in 2021, I believe, was this one. So I ordered the very standard, um whatever color that was available at the moment and i think it was somewhere around september october when i first purchased one and you guys can go back to that video to see kind of how i transitioned from the beginning of my hobonichi weeks journey to now and then i following year right away switched over to mega um, and the reason why is because i love the idea of simplicity and so just to have one book to be able to like rely on when I need to plan and I need to list out ideas and things. This was a, a very cool idea for me at the moment because I was able to do the monthly overview, the weekly task management, and also on the back, I could freely do like the daily running to-do list as well as doing a little bit of journaling on the back. So in the time that I need to just piece out or maybe just get something out of my head, I was able to use this one notebook for everything. Although that's not to say that I wasn't using the other notebooks, but when I am busy and or I'm running around or I'm traveling, this was just amazing idea, right? So that's why I moved on over to the Mega in 2022. So since then, I went and saw that I really enjoyed flipping back on the year um, in my Hobonichi Weeks more than any other notebooks and journals that I own. Just thinking of that, there's no way I'm going to go away from Hobonichi Weeks. So I went and ordered another Mega. So this is what I started out the year with in 2023, the Mega. And it's the purple one. So you could kind of see the color there if you want to see it. So this is the color that I bought. Um, I think out of the Megas, this was the color that I kind of liked the most. Although, would I like a different color? Yes. <laughs> so, and then came the idea of, okay, you know what? I have other books. I'm not really spending that much time in my Hobonichi weeks anymore. So I am going to go away from the Mega because I'm not needing to fill out all this back pages back here because I was really into the whole idea beginning of the year that um, I wanted to use my Hobonichi cousin for all of my journaling needs, right? Just getting everything decluttered out of my head into the paper. And so with that in mind, and it was working out great in the beginning of the year, of course, everything works out very well in the beginning of the year. But as you go through each of the days, life changes. So then I went and ordered this one. So this is the standard size and it is a hard, somewhat hard cover. Um, and as you can see, like all of these are like, are they really hard cover? Because they're like fabric and they're pretty hard. I mean, they're sturdy. They're not gonna, like you don't need another cover on top of this cover, in other words, like this as well. The only reason why I have this protective clear cover over it is just because I wanted this design of Sterling Inks vellum paper and or I just don't want the fabric to get all dirty throughout the year because I do use this a lot. This one, I love the idea of being able to just pop this in my purse and not having a whole planner cover uh, because, you know, along with that, you have to order new planner covers and you have to, you know, just like keep up to date to your liking. Do I like this cover? Do I want another one? 
I didn't have to think about all that. So I decided I'm just going to carry it like this because it's silver, it's cute, it's pearly, whatever. So I moved into this quickly and I, did I back plan it? Yeah, I probably did knowing me because I got it like right away. So I pretty much back planned it, went back and filled out all the things. And, you know, of course you correct yourself from the first a uh, few weeks of you know like this was the 28th so this is what i moved into in the beginning of the year kind of messy so then you kind of clean up your mess you watch other people's videos and you you kind of pick up the things that you love and you don't love this was great it was fun i i love doing trackers in the moment because that's what i thought i loved so i got this one and it was wonderful i honestly was like so happy and you can see i was not using the back pages that much uh really like that's probably all i used i used maybe 11 10 pages of the back and i i was like i was happy i was content it was like just enough paper for me and i could fit this in any purse that i i have um except for one which is like a really tiny purse so this worked out well now the problem came it's really a problem to me i guess when i saw this one i was like browsing through amazon and you know they get you because they know what you like you know and they got me so this one was on sale per se let's just say that to make me feel better on amazon and it was this color and i just really wish that they had this color in the mega version because i would have loved that but you know i have my uh, lavender over here so i would have loved this i would not have gone away from this for whatever reason in my belief did not know that this was like a soft cover so this is like a soft very thick but soft cover again you don't need a cover on on top of this you could literally just carry it just as so and i loved it except the problem with this one is it does not lay flat. And you know, Hobonichi lovers, most of us, for me personally, laying flat planners and journals and notebooks because that is the beauty of a quality book that I can write on without having to like hold it down. <laughs> and also, I work in front of my computer all day. And so having a planner there like this and then my keyboard over here, it's just really easy for me to look at the, the week's plan or the daily task or whatever, and then be able to, see, I really, really tried, be able to have this open like this, but you know, it doesn't stay open. I saw a video of someone um, on YouTube, one of the YouTubers, um, she has this cover. I found her channel right around the time I was like, oh, I need to let this one go. Ironic again. Um, she was using this and she's still using it. I saw her video the other day. She's still using it, but she somehow got it to do this, lay flat. And she was talking about how she doesn't close it ever because she tries so hard to keep it open. And lay flat that she doesn't close it well that's a problem for me because i have to carry it that was the whole point of having not the mega and the standard version so i decided you know what i gotta let this one go i really really love this planner color i love the whole idea of it i love the soft whatever it doesn't matter like i could fold it all day and then it would still go back like it's new which is kind of the beauty of this cover, but it just won't lay flat. If you're a traveler's notebook type of girl or guy, this will work just fine for you. Because I used to do travelers. You're used to holding things down and writing things. And for me, that's why I moved away from traveler's notebook. Although I love flipping through the traveler's notebook and going through all the different notebooks inside of it. For me, I just like things flat and just like being able to work and then being able to close it and then again i went away from it i decided to go back into my mega it really took me a minute to make that decision and the final call to do that and i'm glad i did um again this is just march so who knows how long i'll be in this one but from the previous years i have stayed in my hobonichi weeks throughout the whole year so 
I'm hoping to stay here as well. Um, so far, so good. I'm really enjoying it. I've really kind of moved back in here recently. So yeah, in February. So I, I love doing this. I journal here if I want to. If I don't want to, I don't journal in here. It's just really cool to be able to have that free space and um, you know the the whole mindset behind a planner to be able to just write or do or sticker in or whatever you want to do. And I think like on this day, I'm not going to show you the actual entry, but I journaled right here on the page before just because I was going through a lot emotionally. Just as a parent, I mean, nothing terrible, <laughs> don't worry, but you know, as a parent, you always go through things. And so I was um, just needing to get it out of my head so that I could go back and be motivated and productive throughout the rest of my work day yesterday. So I use that page that all works out very well for me. And I don't feel like restricted because I still have so many pages left. And if I ran out of these ever, which I never have, um, I always have a bunch of pages in the back left. I um, can always use the supplemental uh, little notebooks that I always get every year. So I'm not worried about that either. This has been the one. This is the guy. I am using this. I'm sticking with it for now. I will let you know if anything changes, but I just uh, wanted to go through the different covers and um, the Hobonichi weeks that I have and why some of them did not work for me and the one did. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.